Hey guys, that monkey man back here from another video. Before I start this video, I would like to show off my gaming channel, that House of Gaming, guys. I do upload franchise mode series every single day on this channel. As you can see on your screen right now, um, I do upload, you know, every single week. So as you can see, we are in the AFC Ship Ship game on season one currently. But right now, um, what's it called? Every day at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I upload these videos. So please go over there and check it out. You know, maybe check out one or two videos. See if you are interested in the series. And if you are, make sure you go over there and give it some love. And definitely, you know, watch some videos. So only like two to three minutes long. I show you the highlights of the whole entire game. And it comes out every day. So it's pretty much like a franchise video gameplay every single day. It comes out on that channel. Now let's get in to your daily hey guys that monkey man back here for another video welcome back to episode 7 of sniping with that monkey man guys before i begin i would like to just give a shout out real fast to my gaming channel guys i have a gaming channel called that house of gaming i upload a franchise video of my franchise series every single day if you are interested in watching franchise Madden 17 franchise mode a really interesting series. I edit it down. I do all the editing myself. In my opinion, it's very, very entertaining. If you guys are interested in watching that, head over to That House of Gaming. If you click on my channel, you can actually go to uh, other channels in the play. I mean, sorry. You can go to my channel's uh, little icon thing. And you can actually, um, once you go to my channel, you can actually see channels. And it will show you my gaming channel and also my fantasy truck stop, which is my fantasy football channel. So go check out those two channels. And again, if you are interested in a franchise mode, go check out that house of gaming. Let's get right into it. Now, right now, Legend Packs are in the game. And I just want to check the prices real fast of these players. So he's going for 67k. Um, this might be an investing way you could make coins by investing into these um different rookie players although i don't know like i don't want to take the chance and then they go completely you know down and then they're not worth anything but i also kind of don't want to take the chance what i was called but if you take the risk they could also go way up because packs won't be in the game anymore and they'll be you know really worth a lot so it's very, very scary and risky when it comes to this, if you do invest in this or not. But yeah, so, I don't know. Let me check my head. So I'm starting off this video right away. We're not going to do sniping at the first second of the video. Um, by the way, guys, these videos might be a little bit longer than normal. If you guys do not like longer videos, then I would recommend you click off or watch it until you are done watching it. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um... But yeah, these videos are a little bit longer. They're a little bit more laid back and chillax. So set up your uh, your sniping filters, guys, so that we can all snipe together. And I will get into sniping, I promise, in a little bit. But let me just check the prices of the Legend players and see how they're working. Because I'm pretty sure... Okay, so... Hmm... Okay, so it looks like as the Legend Packs came into the game, these players went up a lot. And of course, that's because these collectibles went down in value. But the question is, will they go back up once... Uh, it's just so confusing because I really want to invest in these because it's a really good idea to invest in, you know, like when packs win the game, invest in a certain thing. But I don't know which one's going to go back up. Is it going to be the players, or is the collect collectible is going to go back up? Hmm. Perhaps you probably can put this whole set for pretty cheap, but I don't know. I'm just thinking, which is it smart to invest in these, you know, collectibles or these players? You guys can give me your feedback down below if you um if you have any idea on what would be better. I'm kind of thinking the players, but based on how the players have looked, they I don't think so because right now. According to Mutthead, the price of the players went, whew, they went way up because of the packs. Obviously, because it's harder to pull a player than a, a collectible. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Let's check the let's check the collectibles real fast and see how they actually wait. I can't check the collectibles. Mutthead hasn't updated for collectibles yet. Um, 
yeah so that might be something to look at not I'm not gonna invest this time but next time like you know next time when um the the packs are back in the game let's say next Saturday I might actually think about investing into uh, the either the players or the collectibles but it's too early in the game to invest right now in this because um, you never know if they're going to go up or down and which one will go up or down. So I'm not going to invest in this right now. But this is something to look at and something to keep your eye on. Make sure you always, you always want to have something in your head guys that you can keep your eye on. You can be thinking about a way to invest into something in this game. So just remember that. Now let's get right into it. Let's, so let's set up our sniping filters like we always do. We set up all players. We go to Elite, and then we're going to start on the Bears, because we all saw on the first team. On the right-hand corner, we're going to set our tier thing to newest. As you can see, now we can actually see the newest players out up on the auction house. And every any new player that is added, we will see it right away. So, big thing coming tomorrow, guys. Well, today. Uh, you'll see this video tomorrow, but today is, I mean, I, I filmed it yesterday, so let's make it more confusing. Alright, right, so to, so today, what's going to come out is, and actually, you, you might see this before I even make a video, because this video will come out before it actually comes out. What's going to come out today is preseason Team of the Week players. So... Obviously, you know, a new solo most likely will drop, a new set will drop, showing off all the, pretty much all the players in the preseason that had a really good preseason. Now, what does that mean? Well, what that means is, it's a way to invest, but because they're, they're all coming out now, the, I mean, so because, alright, so let me explain the whole thing based on what the set's going to be. What the set is going to be is going to be whatever player had the best preseason, which is going to be Dak Prescott, I guarantee you. I 100% guarantee you the um, player tomorrow for preseason team of the week player is going to be Dak Prescott. That's just, a, that's just a fact. So because he's going to be the team of the week player, what that means is that he is going to... Um, he's going to have five other cards in his set that actually had a good preseason. So the five other cards, I can't really think of anyone that had too crazy of a preseason. Um, I think Eagles running back, maybe? Oh, Christian Michael. Christian Michael will probably get a card. Um, I can't really think of anyone else that had such a crazy... Oh, Shepard. I think that Giants receiver Shepard, he might get one. I heard he had a really good preseason. Um, there's a lot of guys that had really good preseason, but I don't think any of them... I, I don't know, I mean... I don't know how many, you know, really cards, I mean, I don't know what they consider a great preseason, because there's some players that did good, like, I mean, come on, most linemen did good, but they're not going to get a card because they didn't make the big play, so, I think it comes down to who made the best plays in preseason, and I guess we'll find out tomorrow who gets that card, but, oh, sorry, later today, who gets that card, but other than that, what that means is Five cards are going to be added into the game for a limited time. Which means they're going to only be added in the game until next Monday. What does that mean for you guys? Well, you guys, well, what that means is this weekend, so do not buy the Team of the Week players now. This weekend, the Team of the Week players, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they're going to be really, really cheap. Because people are going to be pulling packs for whatever Legends out. Whatever, you know, whatever's out. Um, yeah, so those players are going to be very cheap. Because people are going to be pulling packs. Pulling these players. Putting them up in the auction house very quickly. And that's going to limit the price down on these players immensely. So what you guys can do is this weekend buy a lot of those players. Buy a lot of those players and invest in those players. So that Monday, when they're out of the game and a new Team of the Week player is out, like week one, whatever, you can sell those players during that week and make a lot of coins back. Now, the only way that this could go bad and you could lose coins 
And I'm just going to put every possibility out there just, you know, just because you kind of have to when it comes to, um, you know, investing. Is if somehow, I don't know, if the collectible isn't auctionable or tradable, that could impact something. If it's auctionable and tradable, 100% do this. But if it's not auctionable and tradable, that could pose some some problems. And then it also goes if the solo challenge is how long it's going to be out for. If it's going to be out indefinitely, meaning it's going to be out forever, then yeah, it's worth doing it. But if it's not, you all got to look at that. But that's a good way to invest for this week. So someone did tell me, you know, hey, what's a good way to invest? And that's a good way to invest right there. Invest into the team of the week sets. So that's number one. That's a good way to invest because you're going to be able to you know, make a lot of coins because the players are going to go for really cheap this weekend and then throughout the next week, they're going to go up in value again because people are going to be wanting to complete those sets and they're not going to be in the game to be pulled. Now, of course, that also could change if they don't put them in it, the, if they don't take them out of the packs, but I'm pretty sure they do that every single year. They put them in packs for the team of the week for that week and then they take them out because they're kind of outdated at that point. So that's a good way to invest number one number two another good way to invest is into bundles not buying the bundles but as you saw at the beginning of the video what was i doing what i was doing was i was looking and seeing if i could invest into the legend bundles by doing that i'm literally guaranteeing myself a lot of coins if i can get it right you know if i can invest correctly in those which of course, I didn't take the risk, but you could take the risk. And let's say you invested all into the legend players and they go back up in price. Well, then you can make a lot of coins. But what I did was I checked my head and saw the legend players before this were going for nothing. So I don't think they're going to go up in price at all. They're going to probably just plummet in price. But the, the collectibles might go back up in price. And that is something that's really important to look at. I do not know if they're going to or not, but they always could go back up in price. So you always got to look at that and keep an eye out on that because pretty much this bundle was guaranteeing collectibles. So that was the um, biggest thing. Um, do, 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 12 subs. Nah, he's not a good player. No, not, no wait, he's a great player. Um, but he's not a, you know, like a really... Good snipe, you can do only 3k less. Alright, so let's go into the Saints. So yeah, that's another way to invest. It's investing in the bundles, guys. It's the easiest thing. Um, other than that, honestly, for right now at least, there's not many other ways to invest in the stuff. I mean, you could pretty much invest in the bundles, invest in the solo challenge, invest in the promos. Those things are the best way to make coins right now, honestly. And when I may say make coins... I know I make videos, I you know, and I have like other, and a lot of other people say it like, oh, best way to make coins is by you know, blank, 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 playing solos, spending money. But the best way to, to make coins is by investing. It honestly is the quickest, guys. If you think about it, if you invest, like I said before, I gave an example before, but if you invest 100 play, or like you buy 100 of the same player that goes for 5k and he goes up to 10k. You make, what is that? You spend 500k. Is that 500k? No, 5,000. Oh, I'm not good at math, guys. But if you, you know what I'm saying. Like, you double your investment. So if you invest 700,000 coins like I have, and I and my investment goes through, I'm at 1.4 million. If I invest 1.4 million, it goes through, I'm at, what, 2.8 million. Just like that. And the more coin you invest... Of course, the more you're going to, um, you're going to go up. Like the the more money, the more coins you're going to make, the more you invest. Guys, I'm gonna make a quick cut. So hey guys, okay, I'm back. So sorry about that cut real fast, but um, I had to go do something. So now I'm back. But yeah, as I was talking about the way to invest, there's not too many ways right now, but those ways could profit so well. The problem is like there's there's not, not too many ways that are safe. Right now, it's all you play risky. And that's probably the worst thing to, like right now to have. Like, you know, you want a safe bet. 
in order to just make coins, get it done with, and be able to make your profits. But for right now, that's not something that is actually coming true. You know, that's not something that's actually um, possible right now. And early in the season, it's very hard because there's not too many promos out. There's not too many things that are in the game that really can make you coin. So right now, I got to say, other than those ways, there's not many more ways right now on how to invest in the things. You got to watch the bundles. You got to watch those things. You got to watch, um, you know, the different sets that are added. See the players and know, are oh, these players are going to go up in price in any kind of way? Will they go down? Will they go up? What are they going to do? And predicting is the best way you can. And you don't have to predict yourself, guys. If there's a way to make coins by investing, I will predict for you. And I will tell you. And just like with the Legends promo or Legends bundle, I'm going to tell you the benefits and the non-benefits of doing it. So what's the like, what could you get from doing it and what could you lose from doing it? So that's what my goal is, guys, is to pretty much inform you in if you should do something or if you shouldn't do something. So hopefully, guys, you understand that point and you understand that investing, again, is the best way to make coins. It's the best way to triple, a double, triple, quadruple your coins in the matter of maybe a week. So if there is a way to invest, I will definitely make a video about it. But other than that, guys, pretty much when it comes to... Um, the best way to make coins right now, I gotta say, is just solos. Like, it sucks too. But for right now, solos are the best way to make coins. Um, actually, I might make another sniping video, guys. You might see another sniping video coming out when this video comes out. And I might show you how to snipe some other things. Like, obviously, this is my main method of sniping. This is honestly, I consider the best method of sniping. As you saw last night, I did, I mean, not last night, uh, last video, I did pull a, I mean, I did get a card that goes for, um, I got a card 20k under its value. Now, I only made 2k off of it, but that's still, you know, that's still something good, guys. Especially with the fact that I could have sold it for a lot more and made a lot more off of it. I was kind of being stupid there, but that's what you gotta do is just buy low sell high so i might make another video on how to snipe something else uh be, be sure to check out my channel if i make another video about it but um i'm deciding what i want to do with that do i want to make do i want to put it in this video and just make that the title or do i want to um eh, i'm gonna make a different video just because i feel like this video is more about you know what you can invest in so other than that, guys, let's talk a little bit about fantasy. I mean, obviously, you know, we're not, um, this isn't a fantasy channel. But if you guys do play fantasy football, Justin Forsett. Now, this is more of a football thing than fantasy, but Justin Forsett got cut by the Baltimore Ravens. If you guys do not know, I do like the Ravens. We cut him. Um, it's because Tower Fair, not Tower Fair, oh my god. Talk about the most irreverent player in history. No, I'm just joking, but he didn't do anything. But um, he got hurt. I think he's out for like six weeks. So, um, Terrence West and, um, who was it? Buck Allen played really good in training camp preseason. And I believe before that too. They've been, he, they, though, yeah, those two have played very, really, very good. So the problem is, and if you're wondering why we cut Justin for set, it's because... Forsett, okay, so when we signed Justin Forsett, we gave him his guaranteed money when we signed him, okay? So, you know how people don't like to cut people because you, you have to pay them their guaranteed money and you lose money by it? Well, we don't. So, we had him for three more years and we already paid him all his guaranteed money in his signing bonus. So, what that meant was he's 30 years old. Which is very old for running backs. That's usually when running backs kind of go downhill and stop, you know, becoming that great. And we were paying him 3 million coins. Uh, 3 million coins. Oh my god. Wait. JL Sweezy. How much do you go for? Oh crap, I'm not going to get him in time.
Let's see how much he goes for. Did he? Did, has he sold for this price? He sold for this price. Okay. I'm gonna put him up for about 105k. Actually, he sold for 100k. How much coins will will I just put him up for for him to actually make me a profit? Let's see that. Okay, so if he sells for me for 100k, I will get 90k back, and I bought him for 85k, so I'll make 5k off this card. If he sells, let me put him up for a day, put him up for 100k. He actually sold for, he's up for 106k for the other guy, but that card is going to expire, so I'm going to put mine up. For 102k. Alright, so back to what I was saying. So we gave him his guaranteed money when we first signed him in his contract in his bonus, right? Signing bonus. So what does that mean? Well, we had him for three more years. He's he had one good year. Remember, guys, he had 2014 was when he did great. Last year he got an injury. He broke his arm, I believe. So that's why he wasn't playing. That's why he didn't play last year. But the problem was was that we have him for three more years, paying him three million each year. For a halfback that is 30 years old, just came off a really, really bad injury, we had him for three more years. And we're paying him three million each year. We have two other halfbacks who aren't, we aren't paying nearly as much, and they're costing a lot less. And for set, honestly, might be third string because of the fact that, um, you know, the other two players are doing really good. So, we're paying a third string backup. Maybe fourth string when Kenneth Dixon comes back. He'll either be the starter or he'll be second string. But, we're paying a third string, maybe fourth string backup. Three million a year. And if we cut him, we don't, we don't, it doesn't cost us anything. You see why we cut him, guys? We cut him for that reason. Now, we're going to wait a week and see if any other teams want to sign him, right? If no one else signs him, we're going to sign him back for the league minimum. And we might sign him a one-year deal, maybe more, depending on how good he does. But with his age being as old as he is and coming off an injury, I don't. I think that's why the Ravens did it. Because there's two other halfbacks who are pretty much capable of being able to do his job. So that is why we did it. And the best way to put it. So hopefully you guys do understand why we did cut him. And it sucks for fantasy, but the Ravens will pick him back up. I guarantee you. If nobody else signs him, Baltimore will pick back up Justin Forsett. But what does that mean if you do have him fantasy football? Yeah, it's not good, guys. It's not good. I got to say that. He's going to be a third string. If not fourth string, if not just on the practice squad, pretty much, he's not going to be a starter, and you're you're going to pretty much rather just have him not on your team. The starting halfbacks, the halfbacks owned in Baltimore right now, are going to be Terrence West, and who else we got? Terrence West and Buck Allen. Until Kenneth Dixon comes back, Buck Allen and. So and um, Terrence West are the guys to own. Buck Allen's going to be a third string. I'm sorry, he's going to be the third down running backs, a third down running back. And so and uh, I keep saying so Kendrick West. Terrence West is going to be the main, you know, two down running back. He's going to take most of the carries and he might catch an occasional pass out of the backfield, but he's not going to be the guy that you know Buck Allen's going to be. Buck Allen's going to be that guy that's going to catch a lot of passes. So, and that does kind of limit his value because he's just going to be a, a catching back. But he will be in on two-minute drills. And he will be in on probably most goal line carries will be uh, Buck Allen. Um, and then, and if you guys don't know who Buck Allen is, his name is Javalis Allen. 
they, his nickname is Buck, so everyone calls him Buck Allen. But if you guys can't find him in fantasy, his name is Javalis Allen. Javarius Allen, whatever you whatever you call him. But So that's pretty much how that's going to work, guys. That's pretty much solved to a point. Obviously, it's still going to be difficult. Another guy to target, though. All right, you know what? Never mind. Guys, if you want to... If you want fantasy news and you want fantasy stuff, go check out Fantasy Drug Stop. Well, I'm about to do, I'm well, I'm about to go make a video and tell you guys, you know, who to pick up for fantasy and what to do when the players got injured. So, guys, I will end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like for more videos. See you guys in the next one. Peace. What's going to come out today is preseason team of the week players. So, obviously, you know, a new solo most likely will drop. A new set will drop showing off all the, pretty much all the players in the preseason that had a really good preseason. Now, what does that mean? Well, what that means is it's a way to invest. But because they all coming out now... I uh, mean, so because, all right, so let me explain the whole thing based on what the set's going to be. What the set is going to be is going to be whatever player had the best preseason, which is going to be Dak Prescott, I guarantee you. I 100% guarantee you the um, player tomorrow for preseason team of the week player is going to be Dak Prescott. That's just a, that's just a fact. So because he's going to be the team of the week player, what that means is that he is going to um, he's going to have five other cards in his set that actually had a good preseason. So the five other cards, I can't really think of anyone that had too crazy of a preseason. Um, I think Eagles running back maybe. Oh, Christian Michael. Christian Michael will probably get a card. Um, I can't really think of anyone else that had such a great. Oh, Shepard. I think that Giants receiver Shepard. He might get one. I heard he had a really good preseason. Um, there's a lot of guys that had really good preseasons, but I don't think any of them. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how many, you know, get together. And I will get into sniping, I promise, in a little bit. But let me just check the prices of the Legend players and see how they're walking. Because I'm pretty sure. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like as the Legend Packs came into the game, these players went up a lot. And of course, that's because these collectibles went down in value. But the question is, will they go back up once... Uh, it's just so confusing because I really want to invest in these because it's a really good idea to invest in, you know, like when packs win the game, invest in a certain thing. But I don't know which one's going to go back up. Is it going to be the players, or is the collect collectible is going to go back up? Hmm. Classic you probably can put this whole set for pretty cheap, but I don't know. I'm just thinking, which is it smart to invest in these, you know, collectibles or these players? You guys can give me your feedback down below if you um if you have any idea on what would be better. I'm kind of thinking the players, but based on how the players have looked, they I don't think so because right now. According to Mutthead, the price of the players went, whew, they went way up because of the packs. Obviously, because it's harder to pull a player than a, a collectible. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Let's check the let's check the collectibles real fast and see how they actually wait. I can't check the collectibles. Mutthead has an updated book. Hey guys, that monkey man back here for another video. Before I saw this video, I would like to show off my gaming channel. That House of Gaming, guys. I do upload franchise mode series every single day on this channel. As you can see on your screen right now, um, I do upload, you know, every single week. So as you can see, we are in the AFC Ship Ship game on Season 1 currently. But right now, um, what's it called? Every day at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I upload these videos. So please go over there and check it out. You know, maybe check out one or two videos. See if you are interested in the series. And if you are... Make sure you go over there and give it some love and definitely, you know, watch some videos. So only like two to three minutes long. I show you the highlights of the whole entire game and it comes out every day. So it's pretty much like a franchise video gameplay every single day. It comes out on that channel. Now let's get in to your daily. 
Hey guys, that Mike Gamer back here for another video. Welcome back to episode 7 of Sniping with that Mike Gamer, guys. Before I begin, I would like to just give a shout out real fast to my gaming channel. Guys, I have a gaming channel called That House of Gaming. I upload a franchise video of my franchise series every single day. If you are interested in watching franchise Madden 17 franchise mode, a really interesting series. I edit it down. I do all the editing myself. In my opinion, it's very, very entertaining. If you guys are interested in watching that, head over to That House of Gaming. If you click on my channel, you can actually go to uh, other channels in the play. I mean, sorry. You can go to collectibles, yeah. Um, yeah, so that might be something to look at. Not, I'm not going to invest this time, but next time, like, you know, next time when um, the, the packs are back in the game, let's say next Saturday... I might actually think about investing into uh, the either the players or the collectibles, but it's too early in the game to invest right now in this, because um, you never know if they're going to go up or down, and which one will go up or down. So I'm not going to invest in this right now, but this is something to look at and something to keep your eye on. Make sure you always you always want to have something in your head, guys, that you can keep your eye on. You can be thinking about a way to invest into something in this game so just remember that now let's get right into it let's so let's set up our sniping filters like we always do we set up all players we go to elite and then we're going to start on the bears because we all saw on the first team on the right hand corner we're going to set our tier thing to newest as you can see now we can actually see the newest players out up on the auction house and every any new player that is added we will see it right away so, big thing coming tomorrow, guys. Well, today. Uh, you'll see this video tomorrow, but today is... I mean, I, I filmed it yesterday, so... Let's make it more confusing. Alright, right? So, to, so today, what's going to come out is... And actually, you, you might see this before I even make a video, because this video will come out before it actually comes out. My channel's uh, little icon thing, and you can actually... um. Once you go to my channel, you can actually see channels, and it will show you my gaming channel and also my fantasy truck stop, which is my fantasy football channel. So go check out those two channels, and again, if you are interested in a franchise mode, go check out that house of gaming. Let's get right into it. Now, right now, Legend Packs are in the game, and I just want to check the prices real fast of these players. So he's going for 67k. Um, this might be an investing way you could make coins by investing into these um, different rookie players. Although I don't know, like I don't want to take the chance and then they go completely, you know, down and then they're not worth anything. But I also kind of don't want to take the chance. What I was called. But if you take the risk, they could also go way up because packs won't be in the game anymore, and they'll be, you know, really worth a lot. So it's very, very scary and risky when it comes to this, if you do invest in this or not. But yeah, so, I don't know. Let me check my head. So I'm starting off this video right away. We're not going to do sniping at the first second of the video. Um, by the way, guys, these videos might be a little bit longer than normal. If you guys do not like longer videos, then I would recommend you click off or watch it until you are done watching it. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um... But yeah, these videos are a little bit longer. They're a little bit more laid back and chillax. So set up your, fil uh, your sniping filters, guys, so that we can all snipe.